I will be honest, I hate that Pete Carroll had to go for the Seattle Seahawks. I hate it. Pete Carroll recruited me to USC, known him as a football coach for a long time. Hate that he had to go from the Seattle Seahawks, but they made the right move. Mm. At this junction in time, what is Pete Carroll known for? He's known for playing really good defense and running the football. He said it during his press conference that that is our edge. He literally said, we lost our edge. The reporter asked him, well, Pete, why'd you lose our edge? Why'd you lose your edge? He said, I won't share that right now. It doesn't matter why. All that matters is that he lost it. I'm also thinking about the current game of football. Unless you coach a Hall of Fame all-time great quarterback, the coaches in the Super Bowls and the coaches winning the Super Bowls, they're young minds. Bruce Arians, Andy Reid, Bill Belichick. They're the older coaches that have won as of late. But they coach Tom Brady and they coach Patrick Mahomes. The other coaches... Sean McVay, 30s. Kyle Shanahan, 40s. Nick Sirianni. You got other guys. Doug Peterson had just turned 50. Zach Taylor, 30s, 40s. All of the other coaching minds are young and up and coming. So unless Pete Carroll planned on coaching Tom Brady or Patrick Mahomes, it's the young minds that are currently winning. So I hate that Pete Carroll had to go. But James Jones, if I'm being honest, I do believe the Seattle Seahawks, they definitely made the right move in an era of younger coaches yeah. that are currently new and innovative. It was the right move. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it was. Um, before Pete Carroll had got there, they was 9-23. and 23, mm. Right? We've seen Pete Carroll turn around USC. He recruited you, trying to turn it around a little bit more. You said no. He recruited you. You said no. <laughs> but um, when you look at Pete Carroll, I kind of put Pete Carroll in Tomlin's uh, category, okay. right? Won a lot of football games with not a lot of star quarterbacks, mm. right? And you spoke on it. Run the football, play defense. Those is, that's what he built his football team on. But when you look at Pete, you've been to two Super Bowls, right? 1-1. One, one. Came over here, changed around the whole franchise. For me, I feel like Pete should have been the one to make this decision. All he's done for Seattle's organization, everything that he's brought to Seattle's organization, what he has proven to Seattle's organization, I felt like he should have been the one to make the choice to say, like, listen, let this be my last year coming up. Or you know what? I'm going to step down from coaching. I do not feel like they should have let go of Pete Carroll. The Seattle Seahawks before Pete Carroll got there, who were they? True. Right. And since he's got there, the Seattle Seahawks has been one of the best football teams in the National Football League with not really high quarterback play. But would he have ever made the decision? It sounds great in theory, 2-5. It sounds great in theory, Joy yeah. Taylor. Give Pete the opportunity to make the decision. If it was up to Bill Belichick, Bill Belichick ain't never going to stop. Mike Tomlin, it doesn't appear he ever going to stop. Pete Carroll, he ain't never going to stop. If you let coaches coach until they make the decision, they will but not But see, the difference, in, the difference in this situation right here is he won 4-13. Or 4 and 15 or whatever that is. Like, we watching Bill Belichick's team like, Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. We wasn't watching the Seattle Seahawks like that. Yes, they dropped a couple. Like, every team in the National Football League dropped a couple to some bad opponents. But like he said, we competed in every single game. You know, like, Gino was kicked to the curb. Like, Gino told people, man, hey, they, they buried me. I ain't right yeah. back. He got the best out of Gino. He got the best out of Drew Locke. You know, so for me, like I say, it's not like he was playing like Bill Belichick was playing. That's why we're saying, Bill, you don't get the choice, right? We done seen these teams the last couple of years, and it ain't been good. That ain't really the case for Pete. Uh, I'm torn because I do tend to agree with you. If you have a legendary career like Pete Carroll does, if you carry the prestige of being someone like Pete Carroll, you probably should be able to leave on your own terms. But you mentioned all the, th the things that the Seahawks did. What are the Seahawks now? The Seahawks right now are outside of the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And if we really evaluate what they did last year, they overachieved. They overachieved. And it made it look way better because Russ won it out and Russ looked mm -hmm. bad, bad. That's not good coaching, though. I do think it is good coaching. But what are you aspiring to? What, are, what standard, which Pete Carroll helped set, no are you holding yourselves to? I also wouldn't put Tomlin in that category. Tomlin is not 72 years old. I wouldn't even put Andy Reid in that category. Andy Reid is 65 years old. So, the, and I'm not calling Pete Carroll old. I'm just saying, like, the, you, you brought it up, so we're going to talk about the age thing. It's, it's a different world. I don't think that Pete Carroll is, is not able to keep up with all those other coaches. Clearly he is. Mm -hmm. But when it comes down to where you're going as an organization, do you want to allow it to get to a Bill Belichick space? Because they are trending down. They don't have a quarterback. They don't have a Patrick Mahomes. They don't have a Tom Brady. They have a Geno Smith mm -hmm. who... Got them not to the playoffs this year. So I'm conflicted because I do think that our legends deserve some respect. And if you're an organization that is in the position that you're in because of that coach, and most of us feel that he has played a massive role in what they've been able to accomplish, 
then perhaps that's the right way to do it. I don't like the, f- he, he kind of soft said firing. Mm-hmm. He soft said it. <laughs> right, when you say that you fought to stay somewhere, they didn't want you, you, you came to an agreement, mm. but that's not what you wanted. So he's, he's not really walking away on his own terms. Mm. So I don't know truly how to feel about it. It's time for Pete to go. I love Pete Carroll. He had a chance to recruit, recruit me in high school. This one, Reggie Bush is Reggie Bush. He was my host, so you already know what time that was. <laughs> but I love Pete, the way he interacts with his teammates, his players and all that, and the coaches. But he is 71, or 72? 72. 72 years old. I mean, the, the, the game has changed. A, a lot of these old coaches, it's time to roll, right? And I, and I hate to say it like that, but, like, you, you guys speak from a point of, like, loyalty and, and respect mm-hmm. and what are you owe. This is the NFL. They don't owe you nothing. At all. Owe you nothing. And the coaches, players, trainers, freaking the, 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 the coaches don't even have, they don't have no, no, no union. The head coach pays and dudes. They don't have no union for that. So all this loyalty is out the window. Pete Carroll is a really, really good coach, mm-hmm. right? And I think the only coaches that deserve to leave on their own terms are the super greats, right? And I don't think much of Belichick as a, um, the best coach of all time, but I do think he, he has respect because he's won six championships. Now, regardless if it's Tom Brady or not, he, he won the championships as a head coach. So he deserves it on his own terms, right? I think he should be gone, but if he wants to leave or, or he wants to stay, they probably worked it out because of things he's done. Mm-hmm. But in Pete Carroll, let's talk about him for a second. They're always barely over 500, right? The last, what, seven years, he has one uh, playoff win. Mm-hmm. Last year, they were 98. They get to the playoffs and got smoked mm-hmm. by a divisional opponent, the 49ers, mm-hmm. right? Let's not forget that. And then this year, they, they didn't go to the playoffs. So it's like, I, I get it. He's a name, and we do respect him. But in this business of football, there's no respect, yeah. mm-hmm. right? It's all, what have you done for me lately? Yeah. I think that... Being 72, plus not being successful in the last couple of years, plus being a, a younger game now, yep. it's time to move. It's time to move on. So question for all y'all real quick. Um, Pete stood up there and he said, man, I really gave my all. Cool. I wanted to coach this football nice. team. So are y'all saying Pete is done as a coach? Like no I, interviews, none of these other well, teams that need coaches would, would hire Pete? Are you saying I, he's done? I do not think that if I was running a team, I would not want Pete Carroll to be the head coach of my organization. Mm-hmm. Do I want him to be a, a, uh, a coaching assistant? By all means. Come into the facility when you want to. Audit our team. Be an advisor. Be a senior advisor to the head coach. I like that. But in a world where you are in a division mm-hmm. where Sean McVay, I think, has just turned 40, if he has it all, Andy, off camera, please help me. Kyle Shanahan is 43. Mm -hmm. Jonathan Gannon, we don't know what to know about him, but Jonathan Gannon, I think, is in his 30s, and all of them appear that they can coach. McVay's 37 years old. How in the world can a guy like Pete exist there? Let's bounce around to another division in the NFC East. Let's stay in the NFC. Nick Sirianni, for what it is, People think he should still be the coach. He's winning. He's in his 30s. Let's go to the NFC South. Like, anywhere you go, the the, the winning coaches are currently young Mm -hmm up-and-coming offensive wizards. The unless, offensive, they got a good, unless they got a good quarterback, then that's what helps out the old the coaches. The greatest of all time. Yeah. Well, yeah, because offensive coaches get fired, too. Mm-hmm. And offensive coaches struggle, too. Yeah. I, I don't, I, I, it's less about being able to keep up with younger people and where the organization is going. So if you are going to re- – like, how much longer is he going to coach for yeah. is really the question. It's not a matter of if he can keep up with those guys. He's clearly keeping up with them. There are other younger coaches who missed the playoffs as well. We're not like you're too young to be coaching in the NFL. So when we're talking about the age, to me it matters for, his, for what's going to happen over the next couple years. Not are, is he able to keep up with McVay and Shanahan. But isn't that the same thing? Because I wouldn't no, say – because, like, right now he is able to keep up with that. I wouldn't say so because he hasn't won the division since – what, 2017, 16? Meanwhile, McVay been to the Super Bowl twice. Shanahan been to the Super Bowl once, went to the NFC Championship game last year, and is favored to go back to the Super Bowl again. Pete Carroll, obviously, he, he won it in 20. I don't, think, I don't think Pete Carroll's on the same level right now as McVay or Shanahan. But we can make that argument for lots of coaches that are young. Yeah. It's not about him not, like, there's young coaches who are also not winning their division, who are also not overachieving. Like, th- you can make that argument for young coaches as well. To me, it's about right now, where is this organization at right now? Now, where are we going in the immediate future? So how much longer is he going to coach for? That is really the question. Because right now he's 72. You look over the next three years, then he's 75. And then the next five years, like if, if Andy Reid coaches for, until he's 72, he's 65 right now. That's a, that's a significant amount of time. Yeah. I just think that, I mean, Pete Carroll and respectfully, and Andy Reid, they, they're on two different playing fields. They're on two different universes. 
Andy Reid's different. I mean, come on. You see the development of all the players and Andy Reid coaches. But Pete's you the see, same thing, though. Nah. Defensive side. Nah, nah. The thousand percent. You can't nah. not. He How? got Hall of Famers. How? Pete got Earl. Pete got Cam. Pete got Sherman. Pete got Wagner. Like, Pete got Hall of, Hall of Famers that yeah, he drafted, I guess, I guess, developed. You know I mean, what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I can hear that because uh, that, that's that's long time ago, right? I just look at it. When I watch Andy Reid, I'm not going. I'm not going to freaking 20 years ago, 10 years ago. I'm going each year. You see these dudes develop, develop, develop. All them young wide receivers we see dropping the ball and all that. Mm-hmm. Watch them next year and a year after that. Watch how good they become. That's what he does. So I don't want to even go back and forth with Andy Reid and Pete Carroll. I see there's different levels. I'm gonna give you an older coach okay. comparison. But if I'm a GM, if you a GM, if you're an owner, right, and y'all want to have a successful franchise, this NFL thing, not even NFL sports in general, it's a copycat league. So if I'm a GM and coach, who am I going to go get? Am I stick with the older coach or am I going to go with all the young guys that's, that's rolling? If you look at all the championships and all the guys that's doing well, they're young, yeah. right? That's what this league is all about. If you see a play that works very well, right? The, the Philly, uh, what's that? The, uh, Philly special. Not, no, no, yeah, the Philly special. Yep. Yeah, after that happened, every week you see something similar to that. Yep. That's what the league is bo- built on. It's about copycat. So now look at look at all the scrambling quarters we have, the mobile quarterbacks. It used to be we want Tom Brady and, and – uh, and, um, 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 Peyton Manning, yep. right? Look at the league now. now you, I don't care what color you is. I don't care how tall you is. You need somebody to be mobile. Mm-hmm. That's what the league is all about. So when I look around the league, when I see all these young coaches that's winning, why don't I want to be them? That's what the owner's saying. Mm-hmm. That's what's winning. So I love Pete Carroll, but this league is all about copycat. And if I want to win and be a chance to get in the, the, the conference games and Super Bowls, and if I'm not Andy Reid and I'm not developing like that at that age and being a super genius, I'm going to get the younger coaches because that's what's winning. They can relate to the players. And what's young? Like, we saying 50 and under? No, I'm going 40 I'm and going under? 40. I'm going 40. I'm going 40. The only reason why I'm, I'm saying that 40. is because but if Tomlin got fired, he's going to be the hottest coach out there. I don't agree. Say it. I don't agree. I mean, I, I think he's going to be a hot commodity. But, but I'm saying, <laughs> if, if, hold up, but if a guy like Tomlin and a guy like Sean Mavay's available, you're getting Sean McVay. You get what I'm saying? But uh, you're getting yeah, th- th- but there's not a lot of Sean McVay's. Uh, but I, that's why I disagree. Well, no, 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 uh, but this, why? But, Sean well, McVay's been to two Super Bowls but, but, and won one. But, but when he, but he's when won he, the same amount of division uh, of division titles as Kyle Shanahan. You say that now because who he is. But, but there was a time. young, but it was a young Sean McVay, right? Yeah. That was super smart. The people in the building. That you you wouldn't say that because you didn't know that. Because to but, me, go ahead. No, I'm saying you don't get. My thing is, and I'll be quick. Like, give us my opportunity. So you saying Sean McVay because who he is now, right. right? Right. But but if you look at that tree for Sean McVay, um, Zach Taylor, Zach Taylor, and the other one, Kevin O'Connell, and Kevin O'Connell, but no, 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 no the one Mike saying, McDaniel, and Mike McDaniel, right? Mm-hmm. People in that they knew they were super smart geniuses. We gonna give these young dudes a shot. And everybody's like, they so young. Why would you give them a shot? Because we know what they know now. So them dudes can coach. So you're telling me you're taking all those young coaches over Tomlin and today, I mean, today, today, yeah, yeah, today, yeah. You know, and we'll we'll keep Andy Reid out of it because you said Patrick Mahomes and the quarterback, mm-hmm. even though he's 65. But you're taking all them coaches over Coach Mike as well. I think today, yeah, yeah. coaches. I think today. in this day, I, I think in this day and age, they give you a better shot. Yeah. And, and again, the only reason I think so is because it's such an offensive and favorite towards an offensive league. It's such a quarterback-driven league. Quarterbacks are protected more now than they ever were. When I was playing, when you were playing, and you were playing, and we were all playing not that long ago. So give me the Zach Taylor. Zach Taylor went to a Super Bowl in his second or third year as a head coach. Mm-hmm. Kevin O'Connell won 11 games, John McVay Tree, in his first year as a head coach. 11 straight, 11 and 0 he started. Sirianni? Mike McDaniel okay. went to the playoffs in his first year as a head coach. These are all Sean McVay trees. Nick Sirianni went to a Super Bowl in his second year as a head coach. So yeah. you're just making an argument for offensive coaches. A young that's, offensive coach. Because Nico Ryans is not an offensive coach. Never the game, the game's Sean about, McDermott is not an offensive the coach. The game's about right now, if you have a, this is how it works. If you have a dominant quarterback, you could be a defensive coach. Yeah. But if you don't have that, overall, the, the dudes that are successful, if you look at the last couple Super Bowls, they always say, oh, defense, which, that's cool. That used to be that. Now it's, we need offense. Check it out. I, I'm not, I'm not Check it disagreeing. Out. That I, I would hire a young offensive coach. I'm just saying that's not, we have two really good coaches in the postseason right now okay. that are defensive coaches. But the kicker is... They, not, they, who, who's, the, who's the second one? D'Amico. McDermott, McDermott and D'Amico. But I'm thinking about... What they got? Oh, but hold on, hold on. They got, D'Amico got a rookie. But think Man, about... Okay. Think, I think about the numbers. <laughs> you know where you're going to be. Two out of 14. Mm. And if you want to count Harbaugh, that makes three. We do. But, I but, mean, yes. But we Harbaugh count is a special Harbaugh. teams coach. I don't count Harbaugh as a defensive coach. But he's not either. an offensive Agreed. coach. Agreed. So let's, so let's go full picture. And I'm doing this on top of my mind. So apologies. Mike Tomlin's also a defensive coach. So you have... In the a- NFC, you got Shanahan. Okay. He's a one seed. Yeah. You got McCarthy. He's a two seed. Yeah. You got Dan Campbell. I think he's a three seed. You got Todd Bowles. He's a four seed. Right. The five seed, who you got? You got Nick Sirianni. He's a five Eagles. seed. You got uh, Jordan Love, his coach, Matt LaFleur. Offense. He in that joint. And, then yes. and the Rams is uh, McVay. Yeah, yeah. That's offense. Offense. Yeah. Offense. Offense. Yeah. Offense. So, like, it's cute that Man, in the awesome. AFC that D'Amico slid in there. Shout out to D'Amico Ryan for sliding in there. I think it's a six or a seven Eight. seed. I love that for him. Yeah, four seed. 
it's great, but it's offense, offense, no, no, no. offense. I, 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 like Unless the, you're the, that quarterback. The numbers, the numbers would, would point to that, yes. But I don't, I don't think it's cute that D'Amico Ryans is there. I think he came in there and turned that culture around and, and has absolutely overachieved with a roster that we didn't think was going to be anywhere near the playoffs, let alone winning the division. If you're betting is what it comes down to, because obviously D'Amico's a friend of mine. I shout out to D'Amico. But we're, we're, we're kind of saying the same thing. We're all going with offense, young offensive mind. But see, I'm not necessarily – I don't, like – this young and old means nothing to me. Yeah, mm. it, 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 it doesn't it, it to me doesn't, either. It's, it's, more about, it's more about to me where the Seattle Seahawks are, because this is obviously what we're talking about right now, where the Seattle Seahawks right, are right now, how they're trending, and how long Pete Carroll is going to coach for. That's why the age matters to me, because I think he is keeping up with all of the other young coaches around the league, because we're mentioning a few of them. There's lots of other offensive young coaches who are not, not winning, not in the playoffs, that we could be critical of, that haven't been winning their division. That we can do that. We're just not going to spend all this, this block talking about it. To me, it's about this, the Seattle Seahawks as an organization said it's time to make a change. Mm -hmm. We are trending down. We don't want to be the Patriots. We don't want to be in a position where we've got our legendary coach barely out here winning. We don't have a quarterback of the future because we don't necessarily believe, believe in Geno Smith as a franchise guy. So maybe there is some friction about philosophy and where the organization needs to go and what we need to do. So rather than it being completely messy or falling apart, let's make this change now and not in three years when it's really bad. To me, that's why the age matters. But if but, he was 55, I don't know that they'd be so making this. So how old is Doug Peterson? 56? Okay, yeah. So, Super Bowl 56? So, so Super Bowl 50. Yeah, so he not, he not young. Right? So, so that's why I'm like, this age really don't mean nothing because you won it with Bruce, right? Tom Brady. That's my, but but that's my yeah, point. That, that that's my point. That matters. That matters. That matters. Oh, and Bruce Arians is a genius offensive mind. I'm, I'm with okay, you. So, so that's why I'm saying but age don't matter. No, 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 no. Hold up. So, so I think I, I'm not going to use Andy Reid because he's different. But Use I, Doug Peterson because he won it with, I, I, uh, with, uh, with Foles. With Foles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was he 50 years old? He was 50 I mean, 50 ain't that bad. 50 ain't that bad. <laughs> and then I, no, I mean, serious. And then I, I think, wish, I, I think and, and, but if you look at it today's game, either. for example, when, when they get a new coach to Seahawks, I guarantee you they're not bringing no old head up in there. Mm -hmm. They're going to get somebody young. Of course. You know, do you know why? Because that's what's winning right now. Right. I want to be a winner. <laughs> Like, I want to be a winner. So, what's, what, hold on, hold on. The so what's, coaches is winning Super Bowls. Say that again. You can no, touch on the quarterback. Who's lie. Who's winning? Who, who's winning that? Who's winning Super Bowl? Reed. He had Patrick Mahomes. Doug Peterson in his fifties. But he, he was experienced. He had Tom Brady. That's what I'm telling you. Unless you have Tom Brady or Patrick Mahomes. So you're saying if Pete Carroll right now. So Pete ain't got the best. If Pete had a season, let's say the Chiefs lose this weekend, right? Entirely possible. Right. But he's got Patrick Mahomes. Uh -huh. So we're not worried about age because it's Patrick Mahomes or because he's an offensive coach. Because if you have Pat I mean, and, and if you have Tom Brady. I agree. If you have Pat and you have Brady. I guess for me, for, for me, for me, to me, it's not about If goes out there and loses this weekend, is age? Like that, that that's No, what, 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 but what I'm saying is very simple. Young coaches are winning. Unless you have Patrick Mahomes or Tom Brady. Oh. It is objective. Last year, it was Nick Sirianni. And it was Andy Reid. He had Patrick Mahomes. The year before, I think Zach Taylor was in that joint with Sean McVay. Mm -hmm. The year before, Bruce Arians was in that joint. Uh, who'd y'all beat? Uh, with Jeez. Andy Reid. It was Tom Brady Two and Patrick coaches. Mahomes. Two with Tom coaches. Brady and Patrick Mahomes. But, but, so what, so, what so, B, so Pete Carroll needs, needed to have a franchise quarterback. You need to have a franchise. My thing is, if you're a defensive coach and you're older at that, you need to have a dominant offensive quarterback. If you don't have that, it's, it's a wrap. For example, you're a Miami, or Miami fan in general, right? When they brought in Mike Medans, did you was you happy about that? Did you know anything about him? Like was he? I was excited to see what he was going to do. Miami's probably an outlier. But, but, he, he, but he was young. He was like this young dude. Yeah, but he we had a young jokes. defensive coach. And then as soon he came on this the spot, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, we love him. That's what happens. Sean McVay's another one. You didn't know who Sean McVay was like that. Yeah. Came up in there. Yeah, oh. But it's old coaches who did that too. You played with McDermott. McDermott did that. You always but brag about you how of a coach. I know, he is. but what I'm saying is. Am I saying this? You say it, because I keep saying it. <laughs> Unless you have a franchise dominant quarterback, right? It don't work. So, but, but it what don't you're work. saying is if you're an old coach and don't have a franchise quarterback, you're not going to be you're a good not. That's right. Get a you're young not. dude in there. What about the young that's like, I'm, that's like I'm single at 60 and I'm going to go David Nell's 60 year old. I ain't doing that. Who's doing that? What, 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 but, then we, but then we got these Doug shoot. Petersons that's young at 50 winning Super Bowls with Nick Foles. I guess my question is like, who what, we like what are we, like, what kind of smoke are we providing for the young coaches that aren't? That are at home right now. Like who? Like who? Everybody who's not in the playoffs. 
Cincinnati. But, 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 but there's that's a crazy. Cincinnati, that, what are we talking keep in mind, about? Cincinnati won eight or nine <laughs> games with their that? backup quarterback. And you know who also did that? But it's in the playoffs. Mike Tomlin, who's a defensive coach, who nobody wants to hire. Bruh, you no, you guys right are bragging no, about how good these be young go. coaches is with <laughs> bad quarterbacks. Cincinnati and, and was just in the Super Bowl with a bad quarterback, offensive guru-minded young coach, won three games with Buddy. So, so what, what, what are we talking about? You're talking about the year before? No, with Br- Jake Brown, he won three games. Joe won those five. I'm done talking about this. So now we're talking about the what, back. What, what, what? The Bengals, what Zach Taylor did with the Bengals crazy. is both more impressive and to me it is more promising than what Pete Carroll so, did with so the Bengals. What about what he, no, what, hold, wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> what, what about, was it more impressive or promising than what Mike Tomlin and his own division did with less talent to begin the season and, think, through, and, and multiple quarterbacks? Throughout the season? No, I think so, what Mike Tomlin did is absolutely impressive. Helps to have it's a defense. more. No, it doesn't help to have. Oh. You know why he has that defense? Because he's a defensive coach. Correct. I think what Mike Tomlin did is impressive. But I am saying if I am hiring, simply put, I'm hiring a young <laughs> offensive mind because that is what I'm, all, I'm hiring a good football coach. Yeah. I'm going to Stefanski. Me too. Got to be in his 50s. But he had nah, 17 nah. quarterbacks. I don't <laughs> look. I he had 17. Nah, Stefanski's 41. I hate arguing about the age. <laughs> oh, coach, he's got him a little bit. <laughs> Damn, I'm tall. Great. Yeah, here we go. Sorry about that straight. That was a straight. I'm going to be there in a Anyone minute. Anyone coach of the year at 38. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I, I just think it is less about Pete Carroll's actual age, and it's about where they are as an organization, where they're trending. And when you look around the league, Shady said it, it's a copycat league. You're looking at one of the greatest coaches, someone that we held a very high prestige, some of us, and Bill Belichick, who won six Super Bowls, deteriorate the entire organization very quickly because he didn't have a franchise quarterback in Tom Brady. So if you're the Seahawks, perhaps you're just looking at this as we don't want to be that. We want to pivot with grace and dignity. And while it doesn't feel like, it, well, Pete said that it's, he wanted to stay there, this might just be the right pivot at this point for the organization. I don't know. That's my piece. Stefanski, I like the salt and pepper. Y'all better not talk about me this way when I'm 72. I, I know pepper. that. I need salt and pepper. Oh, <laughs> you will, my dog. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.